Hi, this is Angry Ranker. And I uh, wanted to kind of talk about um, one of my bots that I created for Turntable FM. So I've been working on this uh, chat. It's usually they're called chat bots, but this one's kind of a special uh, bot. Um, it runs in uh, Node. Uh, it runs in Node.js. And also, I uh, have have some pretty crazy chat features that I've added to it. Um, so, first off, um, the bot runs on uh, Alan Gilbert's Turntable API, which is a library for um, Node.js. Uh, and so, it's written primarily in JavaScript. And I've also imported some code uh, called ElizaBot.js, which was uh, written in 2005 by a guy named Nor Norbert uh, Landsteiner. And uh, the ElizaBot is actually the original uh, algorithm for it was written sometime in, I believe, uh, the, the mid the 60s or 70s. And it was to kind of simulate uh, having a conversation with a Rogerian therapist. So pretty much you can talk to this bot and it'll have like a whole conversation uh, with you like it's kind of a therapist. So this is me, Anger Anchor, sitting in my room called uh, Hi, I'm Anger Anchor and I have a room. And I'm going to launch this bot right now. So what I can do is... Uh, um, I launched it here so now you can see... I've got my little bot here, and just for the hell of it, I'm going to get on stage and just play some music, even though I'm not going to actually play the music, and the bot kind of bops back and forth. It's, it's kind of programmed to automatically do that. His name is Alti Ranker, so if you see Alti Ranker on Turntable FM, you can go ahead and say hi to it. So I've programmed this guy, so if you send a message here, and bring up my little chat window and uh, let's say I want to just have a conversation with them hi Alti Ranker smiley face he'll like a therapist you know he'll be like hey please tell me what's been bothering you you know maybe I don't know you can really get some pretty interesting feedback from this guy um, like I said, it's all based on an algorithm that was wrote uh, about a little over, somewhere around 40 years ago. And it was implemented in 2005 by the guy Norbert Landsteiner <clears throat> with his really cool JavaScript. So I can continue this conversation as long as I want. Uh, let's see, my foot, my foot's bothering me. Um, and he's, he'll ask me, you know, like a good therapist should is important that you have your foot. Uh, yes, ulti ranker. Um, otherwise, I can't really walk. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, he'll kind of converse with you as long as you want. Uh, <laughs> and so he says, let's discuss further why your foot, um, which is pretty interesting. You know, it kind of, I think syntactically that's correct. It's just really an interesting way to phrase uh, the question back at me. Uh, well, like maybe it hurts on top. Uh, the foot. Uh, the screen in the arch maybe uh, can't you be more positive so he's actually like pushing me I like this I really think this this script is kind of interesting because um, I don't know really anything about Rogerian therapy but uh, I guess you would kind of have a predetermined outcome that you would want to kind of get from the patient and so, <laughs> uh, you, you get some pretty interesting things that are sometimes pretty unpredictable. 
um, from these from the script here and uh, one of the things I kind of want to do long term is to kind of give him different personalities or her I guess I guess the avatar here is like a girl now but I can change that my avatar as you can see with the guy on stage is a little cat um and so I can tell you know I, I let me continue a little bit more And you can just really, you know, continue going on and on with this guy. You know, he'll pretty much chat for you forever as long as you want because the script just, uh, it saves some of the data in there based on your past responses. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long uh, it, it goes in there, but there's like a transform function that uh, kind of transforms what you're saying into the output uh, of whatever the therapist would do. Um <laughs> so yeah I could I could go on here forever. Uh when I'm done I can just tell him quit uh or something similar. There's a few different uh commands I think quit, finish, that sort of thing. And then basically if I wanted to I could restart again like let me show you. I'll uh send him another message. And as you can see, you know, he kind of reset there after I said quit, and it can kind of restart the entire conversation. So if you venture off into like really weird territory, you can kind of just restart him uh, by saying quit. Um, and he's got kind of a lot of different commands. Let me uh, that aren't this. Uh, I think that's really the most interesting thing. It took me a while to implement that because I basically need to take the uh, turntable FM. Uh, API script and merge it with the um, the Elizabot.js script uh, that uh, Mr. Landsteiner uh, was very kind enough to post on the internet for uh, everybody in 2005. So uh, let me just check out his other commands so you can kind of see what else he has going on. All the other commands are, yeah, he's got some that are kind of uh, kind of questionable there. Uh, random artist is a very interesting one. Uh, this is something I implemented that's kind of useful to Turntable FM. He has a database of different genres and artists in that genre. And uh, we use this in a um, uh, room that I'm a moderator in uh, that's kind of uh, humorously named dubstep saved my life uh, which I'm thinking of actually uh, starting a competing room called something like dubstep killed my family or something just as a joke oh and it looks like somebody came in and is kinda of talking to me uh, let me see if I can get spoken bird who's a, a friend of mine to uh, chat with my bot as well So uh, yeah, if you have never heard of Spoken Bird, he does some pretty cool uh, music. He does some cool glitch hop, some cool uh, chill out music. And uh, yeah, I guess um, <laughs> I guess he just messaged. <laughs> I guess he messaged the bot, and he's kind of uh, a little bit stunned by it, but. Yeah, so that's basically what I've been doing with this bot. Um, there's the random artist that we use it for theme nights in Dubstep Save My Life. And so uh, we had a problem that uh, sometimes people wouldn't really know what to play uh, in the theme night. And uh, that really helped because somebody can just keep query the bot, you know, and say, hey, what do, what do I do for Dubstep? What do I do for... Uh... <laughs> What, oh, I guess I'm stuck here. Let me skip. So what happened there was Turntable FM has just been glitching a bit lately because uh, they're doing some server upgrades, I think. Um, yeah, so so we use it for theme nights because people that 
come in that maybe want to DJ, so they don't always know what to play for drum and bass. You know, sometimes they're just not fans of the genre, but they still kind of want to participate and get up on stage and play something. And the bot kind of enables you to do that because you can just ask the bot, hey, you know, what what's going on? Uh, with uh, or give me a random artist uh, in dubstep, give me a random artist in uh, uh, let's say breakcore or, or let's say uh, what else is in there, drum and bass sort of thing. So that's about it. Um, another, I'm gonna make another video later about um, how I host these bots. I don't always run them locally, I like to uh, run them on cloud servers because. That way, like say I go to work or if I just want to shut down my computer at home, you can kind of keep your bots running and keep them in the room. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's very convenient. You can uh, keep them running. And so watch out for that video. Uh, I'll try and do that and post it up uh, as soon as I can. And I'll post some links as well to the JavaScript uh, scripts that I was talking about. I'll post a link to Node, I'll post a link to ElizaBot, and I'll post a, a link to the Turntable API in case uh, y'all are interested, you can just check them out. Uh, thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, if you like my videos, I'll try and do a lot of other like coding techie videos. I have a couple already. Um, I've got um, a couple of music videos as well, and uh, I've got a SoundCloud if you're interested in checking that out. So I uh, hope you all enjoy, and uh, happy, happy interneting, I guess. I uh, hope to see you all later.